Welcome to Electron Online. Here's our second video on Can You Believe It? So in the previous video, we talked about the size of an atom, the size of a mole, and if you took a mole of hydrogen atoms, how long of a string would that string up? If you set them side by side, how far would that line reach? And to our amazement, the line would reach 65 billion kilometers. Now, how far is 65 billion kilometers? Well, it's about 170,000 times the distance from the Earth to the Moon. Another way of looking at how far 65 billion kilometers is, is based on the speed of light. Now, the speed of light is about 300,000 kilometers per second, or about 165,000 miles per second. So, that means that light can travel a distance of 300,000 kilometers in a single second which is about seven and a half times around the world in a single second. Well, at that speed, you would have to travel for two and a half days to reach a distance of 65 billion kilometers. Can you imagine an entire day, every second, traveling 300,000 kilometers, which is about 185,000 miles. Hmm. Yeah, 185,000 miles, about 300,000 kilometers, every single second for two and a half entire days. That's a huge distance. But now the question is, how do we take all those atoms and stuff them back into a little box about a cubic centimeter? Now, to give you an idea what a cubic centimeter looks like, it looks like a small die like this. This die has about the volume of a cubic centimeter. So can you take that many atoms, a mole of atoms, remember a mole is Avogadro's number, which is about 6 times 10 to the 23rd atoms, can you stuff all of those back into a little box like this? And it seems virtually impossible. How can you take a line of atoms that stretches, if you set them side by side touching each other, if they stretch all the way to 65 billion kilometers from here, how do you put those into a single box about this big? Well, it's actually possible. At first, when I thought about it, it seemed impossible. But here's how we can figure it out. So what we can do is we can start lining up the atoms side by side until the distance in one direction equals one centimeter. A centimeter, of course, is the length of one of the sides. All right, now we need to know how big one of those atoms is. Now, an atom, a hydrogen atom, if you take a look at it, so here's the nucleus and here's the electron that forms the shell. The diameter of the atom is what we call 100 picometers. Now, a picometer is 10 to the minus 12 meters. That would be 100 times 10 to the minus 12 meters. So, how many of those can you line up side by side until you make a line one centimeter long? Well, what we need to do then is divide this number into one centimeter, so one centimeter divided by 100 times 10 to the minus 12 meters, and that would, be, uh, that would be 1 times 10 to the minus 2 meters, divided by 100 times 10 to the minus 12 meters, and that would be equal to 1 times 10 to the 8. And how big is 1 times 10 to the 8? That's 100 million atoms. So 100 million atoms, would make a line one centimeter long. So along one of the ridges, you could put 100 million atoms. And then, of course, you make a second, uh, second line right next to it. And so what we're going to do is we're going to fill the base, the bottom layer of this cube, with lines of atoms. So then you would have another 100 million, and a hundred, another 100 million, all the way until the entire base is filled with atoms. So how many atoms do you have now? Well, it would be 100 million, times 100 million atoms. Well, that's 1 times 10 to the 8, so 1 times 10 to the 8, and multiply times 1 times 10 to the 8, now that gives us 1 times 10 to the 16th atoms would make a very thin layer, this stick, 100 picometers thick, at the bottom of that cube. And then, of course, you would do it again. You put in a second layer, and a third layer, and a fourth layer, and, of course, each layer, right on top of each other, would take 100 picometers of space. And how many of those layers can you put in there? You guessed it, 100 million layers. So now you multiply this times another 100 million, 
because that's how many layers you have. 100 million, but not the S, like this. And then when you add them all up, 1 times 10 to the 16 times 100 million, which is 10 to the 8, that gives you 1 times 10 to the 24 atoms. Now, that is actually bigger than a mole of atoms, which is only 6 times 10 to the 23rd. So you could put this many atoms, which is more than a mole, into a little cube, 1 centimeter cube in volume. Wow, so in other words, yes indeed, you can take that enormous line of atoms lined up 65 billion kilometers long and stuff all those atoms into this little cube. Can you believe it?